Yeah, I had this period, like I started eating only fruit and I was like really like, I cared about that stuff so much and I also like, I was like, this whole thing with the spray the air, oh, I cared about all that stuff. Yeah. GMOs. Went to Africa for a few years and then, then that's where I found all this Oprah Winfrey and stuff, just like, and, and Tony Robbins and all this stuff just like a year ago. And I was actually went back to Sweden and I built in the park again and bef last time I was there I had like my car and my truck and my three room apartment and all that. But now when I came back since I sold the apartment and I and I sold my cars and, and I just like wanted to be in Africa. Mm -hmm. So when I come back to work in the park again I had like I had nothing. Mm -hmm. I just rented a room somewhere and it's just like near the park and it just like I could have rented an apartment, it just wasn't any apartment to rent in that area and I wanted to be walking distance from the park. So, but it just made me feel like, do you know what Tony Robbins says, like if your blueprint doesn't match, you know, the life you're living, you get depressed, kind of. So like, yeah, yeah. If you think you should have all these things, you know, and then you don't have them, that's when you feel depressed and it doesn't matter like, can be a rich person who just thinks she should have a family and kids and if she doesn't she'll be depressed mm -hmm. so then you either have to change the blueprint or right. change your life but uh so so my blueprint was that you know if i was in sweden i should at least have my own apartment and my car and like mm -hmm. my all that stuff and and i should be successful because i'd always been like uh you know things were usually going easy for me in school and things like that so and then i got sick on top of that and got a blood clot, which I shouldn't, you know. Oh, man, like, so, is yeah. happier, like, eating healthy? And yeah, so that, that got me even more bummed, you know, like, yeah. disappointed in that. And I was like, so I found myself super depressed, and I was like, I don't want to listen to Art of Happiness one more time, so I don't know what I YouTube, like, um, you know, depression, get out of depression or something. And I found this clip with Tony Robbins, like, about life's purpose and beliefs, and, and I was like, oh, okay, wow, this is good. And then I started listening to him and Les Brown and other people and I started hearing like how I can do whatever I want and want to do and like I was like oh shit that's right like what things am I not doing because of fear and the first thing that came up is like that's why I'm not in LA that's why I'm not in like Hollywood that's why I'm not hanging out with all these people so I was like oh shit well I still have time to change this and I have a better starting ground now that I had like you know before I had these savings so so that's when I decided to go here and then it took one year to just like because I had a house that was renting in Africa and all that so I had to go, go back there and get all that stuff away and then yeah and then I came here. So now I've been here for three months and my main goal was to like get my concepts to Oprah somehow mm -hmm. but probably out of some fear I've been mostly like doing other things like growing my YouTube channel or like not really growing it much either like i've been growing the stats a little bit but it's like yeah it's, it's really new and it's uh, but i've been you know interviewing a lot of people so now i have like daily things i can post for a long time and i've been uh, also just like relaxing enjoying life and skateboarding and not, i like yeah, oprah's it's, it's song crazy you mentioned oprah my mom's last name is winfrey Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> That's so we, cool. we may be related, me and Oprah. Oh, yeah, you may be. Yeah. I don't know how usual or uncommon that is. It's not yeah. a common last name at all. No? Yeah, not very many people's last name is huh. Whitford. Uh, what well, you, my family's what? not very close at all. Like, we don't, I just, um, mm. like, just my brothers and sisters, maybe a few aunts and uncles, yeah. but um, I don't really have too much. Uh, like, a lot of people in my family are dead. Uh. So. Either they're dead or we just don't talk to them, so we don't really know too much. Like, family mean, history. You mean on your mom's side? Uh, both uh, mom and uh, dad's side. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. That's like, okay. It's a part of life. Uh, yeah, it is. Death is a part of life, mm -hmm. for sure, for and everyone. There's, there's definitely more but to this existence after we pass this existence. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. This, this yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you consider yourself like religious? I, well, spiritual for sure. Um, I do believe in God, like I do pray to God sometimes. Uh, I believe that, you know, the Bibles of the world are, most of them have been very manipulated. Oh, yeah, for, of course, yeah. I've heard like King James Bible is less manipulated than a lot of other ones. Mm -hmm. So I do wish to like buy that one as an audiobook and listen more to it. Um, is it an audiobook? 
Yeah. You should get a regular Bible. Why? Oh, because like you said, it is like manipulated. Mm. So, but I think it's, um, the Bible is written in parables. So it's like- What's a parable? Uh, it's like a riddle. Mm. So a parable is, um, I guess, an idea, a concept used to describe like an earth, a heavenly concept, but used like mm. earthly ideas. Mm. So it's like, um, so that, you know, man can understand it in our terms. There is a lot of like symbolism in poetry. Mm. But I think that if, you know, you read that with your own eyes, you get a different interpretation than if someone else reads it. Even if like reading it to you. you mm. know? Okay, but let's say I, I want to read the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. And I buy uh, and I buy the audiobook. Mm. I mean, that audiobook will not have any interpretations. It will be exactly the same words yes. as in the text Bible, right? Right. right? But I mean, I just think it's something mm. about seeing it with your own eyes and uh, processing yeah. it into your brain versus yeah. someone, I guess, telling mm. you that it is the exact same words. Yeah. But Art of Happiness, for example, I read it in the, as a book, and I, but then I listened to it like a million times as an audiobook. But I think like. Yeah, I think as long as the words are the same, I think if I listen to it, I'm not just going to listen to it once. It's going to be something that I listen to a lot, you know? And I know most successful people, they read a lot of books. Mm -hmm. But really, like, I feel like I don't have time for books, but I do have... Anyone has time for audiobooks. Like, I can have audiobooks on when I work, when I skateboard, when I walk around, when I exercise, when I, when I build stuff. And then I, I can do it over and over and over again. Right, right. But I really feel like I've stressed out if I'm going to sit down and read a book. It's like, I, I just want to create and create and create. And, and uh, I don't feel I have the time to sit and read something at this point in my life. Right? So let me ask you this. Mm. If you read it, will you think that will bring like a different energy to listening to it? Because I guess if you read it, you have to be putting a little bit more energy towards like intaking and processing and you kind of just have to sit and focus on the words versus you could be doing something else yeah. and listening and like internalizing it. Do you think that it's yeah. like there's a, I guess a different I think value. it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely different, but I think for me, the value is so much higher listening to it. Mm -hmm. When I was working in the park, for example, like, you know, working in the park really sucks when it gets cold. Mm -hmm. You're out there in the cold, everyone else, you know, is inside the warm apartments and you're out there working and it's like dark and you don't have a real proper bathroom there and it's like, and you can't stop whenever you want because when the concrete is wet, you know, yeah, I gotta make sure it's right. And I've like sometimes I ended up working like 30, 30 hour shifts, oh, you know, yeah. in snow, you know, like. Oh my God, like all at once? Yeah, yeah, okay. like no sleeping. Like sometimes my employees would work it with me. Sometimes they would like, one employee would come and another one would go and I would just keep working. And they would be like, can we go to buy, buy something to eat? And I would be like, you know, I'd rather not because if I stop working now for half an hour to eat something, I'm gonna be so cold and I'm not gonna be motivated anymore. Like I just have to keep working and working and just focus on that and forget that I'm hungry. And uh, but in those moments, you know, listening to uh, Tony Robbins or Les Brown, you know, Les Brown, like that's so powerful. Okay. And, or even like before I go there, you know, while I shower to listen to this thing about like how you need to do things you don't wanna do and all that stuff is just like so powerful to me. And just the fact that I can do it over and over again and I can, it can take me from like, hating what I do to just feeling like this is just the sacrifice that I'm doing to to enjoy life more when I'm out of this shit, you know, mm -hmm. like, to, or out of this challenge.